Hello everyone, this is Ben Dunn, founder of Antarctic Press, a comic book publishing company founded in 1985. We're still doing comics, even today. Uh, I'm also the creator of such comics as Ninja High School, Warrior Nun, Mighty Tiny, The Marvel Monkverse, uh, Tomorrow Girl, and uh, many, many other comic book series. I also have a campaign going on Kickstarter called The Crimson Nun. A throwback to pulpy adventure novels. Uh, it's a, a sort of return to the Warrior Nun universe that I created. And uh, I hope you'll check it out on Kickstarter. Link will be below. So, um, you know, been the uh, comic book convention season is coming, you know, and people are getting commissions and stuff. I read an interesting post recently about uh, commissioning artwork from uh, pros and amateurs and other comic book creators and uh, I found uh, ask a, there's a fundamental question that uh, needs to be addressed. I'm not sure if anyone's ever done this before but uh, uh, I'm sure it has, YouTube being as it is but here I want to just talk about it again anyways. So uh, I am, first of all, let me preface to say, I am not a copyright lawyer. I have no qualifications at all uh, to be a copyright lawyer, but I am a creator, and uh, uh, I know a thing or two about copyright and who retains rights to original piece of artwork. Now, when you do a commission piece from an artist, Usually, it's uh, a one-and-done transaction. You hire a, uh, basically, you uh, hire someone to draw a piece for you with the intent that you are going to keep it for your own personal collection and uh, to enjoy and for your own personal use. However, there is a slippery slope of whether or not you have the right to reproduce that artwork. Now, Usually, and I, uh, again, I say I'm not a copyright lawyer, but usually if you are commissioning a piece of an established IP, you know, technically, you're not supposed to use that IP, uh, you know, whether you commission artists to draw it or not. Now, I'm not sure it's whether it's implied or it's just a general rule or that, you know, uh, people hold the, the, the IP rights, just look the other way, you know, and don't bother to spend the time to enforce <coughs> their <coughs> uh, trademark or copyright because there's too many artists go out and do it. It's, you know, I guess if it's, if it's, uh, if you're going to do it for free, then there's not really not much they can do. But if you're going to charge people, so then you're making money off someone else's IP now. Uh, that, uh, for the most part, I think most companies just look the other way because it's just not worth their effort to try to enforce their uh, rule on every single comic book artist or artist who reproduces or who uses their IP for commission. Now, uh, I mean, technically they are breaking the law, but I don't think it's one of those, I think it's one of those things that really no one, you know, cares about, you know, until it starts uh, to infringe on their copyright, you know, uh, but uh, so uh, I think for the most part you're safe, and as long as you're using it to enjoy for your own personal collection, usually you're pretty safe. However, what if, uh, and I'm not sure uh, if a lot of you do this or not, but what if you ask a artist to uh, to do a commission of one of your original characters. Do you have the right to reproduce that piece of artwork for, say, a cover or uh, a trading card or other pieces of merchandise? Now, um, you know, according to uh, uh, the copyright, you know, the, it, it says here that uh, copyright nearly always rests with the artist. Uh, regardless who owns the artwork. <clears throat> However, there are exceptions 
to this rule, such as work that has been specifically commissioned or completed during employment, in which case copyright stays with the commissioner or employer. So uh, if I read this correctly, you know, if you are hiring somebody to commission a, a piece with the intent of reproduction, then uh, you are actually employing them to create that piece and you can reproduce it according to what it says here. You know, uh, it, uh, I mean, it sounds like a pretty slippery slope, but I, it might, I think what it is is that you're basically hiring them as a freelancer with the implication that they have the understanding that you own the character and you're merely hiring them to uh, create a piece for you to use in perpetuity. Now, uh, usually in cases like this, it's implied that if you're commissioning someone to do a piece that you, as the employer or the one who commissioned the piece, have the right to reproduce that artwork because you will now technically own it. You know, and, you, and as long as it's your character, you can reproduce it till the cows come home, you know. Uh, now again, I'm not sure, you can probably make arrangements on your own or uh, the artist is under the uh, complete understanding this is what is going to happen. You know, and as long as he agrees to it and, uh, and actually does the work, then I think all is good, you know. Now what if you're at a convention and you meet a, like a big name artist and you commission and do a piece of original artwork on one of your characters. Now, can you uh, legally use that piece, you know, to uh, reproduce, you know, with uh, without any uh, further compensation to the artist? Well, uh, technically, I think you can. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think technically you can. Uh, now, should you inform the artist is your intent? Well, that's probably really the right thing to do. So, because he may have a price for commission pieces at conventions, and he may have a price for uh, covers that are meant to be reproduced, you know, in which case he's giving, um, giving you the rights to reproduce it, you know, in uh, forever and in perpetuity. Now, uh, and it, it might be a, a good thing to let him know that, uh, or the, let the creator know this is your intent, you know, and so that he can adjust his prices accordingly. Yeah. Um, usually in my case, if someone uh, commissions a uh, original piece of artwork f of someone's unique character, then, uh, you know, I always imply that you have the right to reproduce that work, you know, forever. And, you know, when I give, once I hand over the original art piece to you, then you can do with it as you will. Um, in that, 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 that once our transaction is completed, then we both move on our separate ways. You do whatever you want with that piece, and I just go on and do other things. Uh, it's uh, not the same if it's a character that you do not own, you know, such as it is. Yeah, and, um, so, uh, is it possible? To get a commission from a big name artist at a convention of, uh, of one of your original characters and reproduce it and use it as a selling point for that cover, well, yeah, probably. You know, it would be nice if you let the creator know that's your intent. You know, and then maybe he'll just uh, say, yeah, okay, that's cool, I don't care. You know. So, uh, yeah, uh, it it it's just one of those things that uh, you may want to think about next time you go to a uh, convention you know um now you know they you the artist can sell you reproduction rights you know he can uh, sell you the uh, uh you know whatever arrangement you want to make uh to do that and if he does that then you can work out a uh, an agreement between the two that seems uh, amiable for both some artists will just not bother they'll just say oh yeah go ahead do whatever you want you know, and uh, that's the end of it. You know, some artists may want a piece of the action. You know, uh, say, well, if you reproduce it, I want like 5% or 10% or whatever 
uh, you agree to. You know, and some artists will say, uh, "No, I don't want this reproduced at all." You know, and uh, you know, in which case you may want to reconsider hiring that artist to uh, uh, do something for you with, if you have the intent of reproducing uh, that artwork. You know, because if you uh, commission a piece of artwork from a artist and he does it for you and you make further you go on further to make you know thousands if not millions of dollars of that piece of artwork you know then maybe uh, that artist may want to come back and say hey I, you know you're you're making bank on this artwork I made for you I think I should uh, get some royalties on it you know in which case you can use it yeah okay sure I'll give you a royalty or said no I hired you to do this piece and I own 100% of it, you know, in which case, uh, you know, it's totally up to you and between you and the artist and it can get uh, messy, you know, if, uh, it can get messy if uh, you, you don't come to some sort of agreement, you know. Uh, again, as for me, I don't care, you know, once it's at least my hands, uh, you uh, do with it whatever you want, you know. But it is something you may want to think about next time you go to a convention and uh, get an artist to do a particular character. Now, it's one thing to uh, hire somebody and say, this is my intent. I'm going to do a cover. I want you to do the cover. This is what I'm going to pay you. You can accept the job or not. Uh, it's implied or uh, it's, going, it's, I, it's implied that I will reproduce this. You know, with no further compensation to you once the uh, work is completed, you know, and, uh, uh, and and they have that understanding. As long as they have that understanding, and they continue to do the work, then you're pretty much good to go. You can do whatever you want with it. You can, you know, use it for as long as you want. You know, and uh, it's really up to you to decide whether or not you want to further compensate the artist or not. You know, it's uh, it's totally up to you. you know. Uh, it, but however, if, uh, if the artist sees his work being reproduced and he's not aware of it, it was going to be reproduced. It may cause some ill feelings, you know, and it may cause possible litigation in the future. Now, I will be honest with you. It's very rare that that goes that far, you know, unless you're the kind of artist who is litigious or, uh, have the resources to, uh, uh, to go ahead and you know go ahead and pursue that course of action you know or, or you see that it's making some serious money and you'd like to get a part of that now uh, it, it just depends on the individual artist and it can you can run into some trouble depending on who, who you're going to be working with you know for, for the most part I think most artists under have the understanding that once they've completed the work and handed it over to the person who commissioned the work then it's a one and done and everyone moves on with their lives you know uh, and I just wanted to just let you uh, uh, give you a heads up when as the convention season is coming up that this is also a uh, uh, a, a sort of think about if nothing else you know so uh Anyway, I just wanted to give you some food for thought, and uh, you know, see what uh, you uh, see what the, uh, what you think of it. And if you like what you hear, like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Ben Dunn signing off.